Today we're going to go for a little ride in the car. We're going to talk about three things. And um, I think you'll enjoy today's little ride. We'll go for a ride in the car. Always puts a smile on my face, I know that. And uh, might put a smile on your face too. So we'll take this little beauty for a ride. But before we do that, we'll do a cold start. And then, uh, so you can see that. And then with three things I want to talk about today. The first one I want to talk about is if you're in touring mode or my mode, what happens? And then the second thing I want to talk about is active fuel management. That's when you go from eight cylinders to four cylinders. What's the deal about that? And um, what did you look out for by that? How do, you, how do you keep it in eight cylinders? Can you keep it in eight cylinders? Is there any way to avoid going into four cylinders? I'm going to show you that. We're going to go out in the car and show you how that works. The third thing uh, that I think is kind of fun is uh, what is that green light that's on the dash? Have any, of you, have any of you seen that green light on the dash? Stick around. So let's, let's start this puppy up and go for a ride. So before we roll out of the driveway, I thought I'd take a look at our um, look at our dash. And if you notice on the dash, it looks like I'm in sport mode. Now let me make sure I'm in sport mode because I'll turn this once that way and once back the other way. And yes, I'm in sport. So what I found out is uh, usually if you leave it in a particular mode, it will go back to the mode you left it in. But I read in the manual that uh, if you leave it in any other mode like sport or track or anything like that, it'll go back. When you start it up, it'll, it'll um, go back to touring mode. Well, I think that's changed. And I got a couple of updates recently uh, from GM on the car where the car, uh, you know, up, upgrades your computer system. And I think now that it's not doing that anymore. I think whatever you, whatever you, uh, whatever mode you leave the car in, it'll go back to that mode. Because I was having trouble before. It was popping back to touring mode. I'm going, what the heck? Why is it going back to touring mode? I left it in some other mode. I maybe a, 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 a sport mode. But last night when I turned the car off, I left it in sport mode. And sure enough, I got up here this morning, and it also stayed in sport mode so it's not jumping back to touring mode when you shut the car up i think leave a comment down below what do you find is happening on your car do you shut the car off in sport mode and it goes back to touring do you shut the car off on track mode and it goes back to touring let me know what happens i think it's going back to the mode that you left it in when you turn the car off so whatever mode you turn the car off that's a mode that'll show up when you turn the car back on, I think. Now, I, I read in the manual that isn't the way it's supposed to work. If you leave it in sport mode, it's supposed to, it's supposed to default back to touring mode. And the only time it will go back to the mode you left it in was in my mode. So if you get it in my mode, I'll show you my mode, what that looks like, in case you haven't seen it. Uh, hold on just a minute, I gotta go the other way. Is my mode. See the little character there, like a silhouette from the shoulders up? That's the my mode, and that's, um, and this, what's kind of nice is you can go in here and change all those uh, features too, on all the different modes. It's kind of nice on the 22. I didn't have that in my 2020 Corvette. So, anyway, that's my story about that. Now, the next thing I want to look at is I want to look at um, 
driving modes. And how do we get out of uh, going into uh, four cylinder mode? In other words, you see that white V8 down there? What's gonna happen is, um, when I go, when the car goes into four cylinder mode, it'll show a V4 down there and it'll be in green. And so that's what I wanted to show you today. So I'm gonna back out of the driveway. This is tough duty having to drive this car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it puts a smile on my face every time I drive this car. It's really amazing. It really does. Sun's very bright here in Florida this morning. See if we can back out without banging any golf carts or uh, anything like that. My windshield is a little dirty, by the way. As you might see a minute, you might not see. <laughs> so anyway, let's... Uh, Let's take a little ride here, and I see I'm in V8 mode. You can see that down there. And we're taking a little ride. And look, already, it's on V4 mode. Four cylinders. Now, there's been quite a discussion about um, does the going into the V4 mode uh, long-term screw up your, um, your engine? Oh, boy. I don't know. I think I thought about that, and I would think those engineers, if you've ever met the engineers from General Motors, they're very, very smart. <laughs> they're very bright. And uh, why would they, why would they do that? Um, and you see, it, I'm still in uh, four cylinder mode. Uh, why would they do that? I, th that would be crazy. So now in, in a, a year or so, they're going to have all these engine uh, recalls and problems, and uh, that doesn't sound, that isn't the way they work. So I I I I have to dismiss that claim. I think it's I don't know. I don't I don't think it's legit. But who knows? Anyway, I'm still in V4 mode, and I'm still in drive. Now I'm going to put it in manual mode. So I just put the car in manual mode, and guess what? I'm traveling along the same way, and uh, it's still in V8 mode. What's happening here? I'm in fourth. Let me go into fifth. Let me go into sixth. I'm in sixth gear, and this thing's floating along, and it doesn't come out of V8 mode. So I've, I tried this yesterday, too. I can't get it to go into a four-cylinder mode if I have the car in manual like I do right now. So basically, there you have it. We're uh, we're in V4 mode, four cylinder mode, and uh, the four cylinder mode happens when you are in drive. But when you go to manual, when you go to manual, um, you can stay in eight cylinder mode all the time. So if you're concerned about, uh, if I was concerned about uh, engine damage, which is, you know, I don't know it's not, I don't know it's not true, but I don't know it's true either. Uh, if, if I'm concerned about engine damage, I'll drive the car around in, in, uh, in, in, in manual mode. And so then the car is always in V8 mode. So there's your, there's your fix. If you're concerned about engine damage to your car, I would drive this car in manual mode all the time. The third question I have for you today is what is that little green round light that's down on your dash? You've probably never seen it. Most of you probably never seen it. What is it? What is that green light? That's the question for today and you can answer your comments down below in the comment section. Tell me if you've seen the green light and tell me what you think it is. And then um, if you've never seen the green light, maybe you can read one of the comments, one of the people that'll post here, and they'll tell you what the green light really is. And here's a little uh, clip. I'll show you what it looks like in the manual. You can read about it in the manual. But here's a clip of the manual. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. And uh, three things. Don't forget to uh, subscribe like and comment all right those three things subscribe like and comment 
subscription really helps. And uh, it doesn't cost you anything, just hit the button and hit the little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And it really helps me um, and the channel. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll be glad to do uh, more videos for you and uh, keep you posted on all the latest things that are going on. So, uh, and with one other thing I thought I'd show you, uh, my Valentine one, and uh, there it is, that blend mount I think they call it. Uh, I did a video on it and how to mount it and everything else. It's very, very simple and it looks great. And I also uh, showed you a link to this software which is free and you run it on your phone. And I also did a video on this phone mount, which is very simple to put in. It's very nice, which sits right here. And the phone talks to your um, Valentine one or whatever, whatever um, radar detector you have. And then the other thing I do is I, I push, uh, I have Waze on my, on my app selection. And then I put that so it goes full screen. And then I squeeze it in like this so I can see more stuff that's out there. In between the radar detector and Waze, you've got a pretty good defense for those gentlemen and ladies out there that would like to send, you know, give you a nice fat ticket. So just to be aware, and as you know, sometimes it's because a police uh, car is pulled, o pulled over for another reason and you don't want to uh, get involved in the situation. And here in Florida, you have to move over a lane if you can you have to move over one lane, uh, even though the police car is on the side of the road. So that's another law we have to be aware of down here. So use Waze and use a radar detector and you should be in pretty good shape.